and welcome back to Style Novice. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a super simple tutorial to help make this DIY girls shift dress. You can whip this up in an hour and it's a great way to use any scrap fabric left over from other projects. So keep watching to find out how you can make yours. To make your easy DIY girls shift dress you will need some cotton fabric, something thin and workable and not too stiff in the colour of your choice. I'm going to be using two different colours today to define the front and back pieces. To determine how much you will need, measure your small child from shoulder to knee to estimate how long your dress needs to be. To this measurement add 3cm for your bottom seam and 5cm for the top seam. To determine the width, if you're making this for a small child, you'll need approximately 50 centimetres and this includes the side seam allowances. For an older girl, try anything from 55 to 60 centimetres. And for the ribbons, I had enough fabric to make some fabric ties using the same material, but plain ribbon will work just fine and make the dress even faster to whip up. The length of the ribbon or tie should be the same as the width of your dress and if making them out of fabric, 6cm wide. To get started, cut your fabric to size using the previous measurements and be sure to iron the pieces out nicely. Pin the two dress pieces together, back side facing up. To make room for the arms from each top corner of your fabric, measure in 9cm. Go back to the corners and measure down 16cm. Join these points with a ruler and pencil and cut. Measure a 1cm seam along these cuts, pin and sew. Complete for both front and back pieces. The colour of the thread that you use will be seen on the final product. To create our top seam, fold the top piece down 5cm. This allows enough room to thread through our ribbon or ties. Pin in place and sew across the seam all the way across to the edges of the arm seams. With this complete, the last seam to create is at the bottom of the dress. Pin each piece up 3cm and sew. With both sides of the dress now complete, lay one on top of the other and pin into place, being sure that the back side is front side up and the front piece of the dress is good side down. Sew along both side seams and turn right side out. At this point you may need to iron or press the dress so far again. If you're going to be creating your own fabric ties, you will have already cut two pieces the same length as the width of your dress and each piece will have a 6cm width. You're going to want to grab your iron and iron each piece in half and unfold so that this new middle crease can be seen. Fold in a tiny amount of fabric on each end to create a nice finished look at the end of your ties and fold in each side to meet in the middle and press. Fold this piece in half again and press well. Now go back to your sewing machine and sew along the very edge of the seam ensuring both sides of the fabric are being caught by the machine. To thread either your handmade ties or plain ribbon, place a safety pin through one end of each piece and shimmy it through the next seam. To complete the dress, hold each end of the ribbons and push the dress fabric into the centre of the ties to create a ruched effect at the neckline and a pleated effect down the centre of the dress. 
The dress is really easy to get little ones into and once they're in, simply tie the ribbons together at each shoulder. What's not so easy is getting a nice photo of your little one wearing the dress. So that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed making this easy DIY shift dress with me. As always, the step-by-step -step and written instructions can be found on my blog by following the attached links.